I'm Travis, this is Sam, and behind us is the brand new BMW 5 Series. Actually, it's a Cadillac. Behind us is a Cadillac. This is the Cadillac CTSB Sports, a twin turbo V6, 420 horsepower, and it's more of a BMW than a BMW. Another great rear wheel drive sedan that has no reason to be this good. And they basically figured out how to do BMW shtick better than BMW does it anymore. It's got great steering, it's got great body control, feels light, nimble, transmission. Transmission's actually pretty good, it works. Sounds good for V6. Nobody makes V6s that sound good. This V6 sounds good. What's great about it too is it's not the full V. If you want a full on, the fastest cattle you can get, the CTSV, 650 horsepower, supercharged V8, that's like a hundred grand. It's about two thirds the price, and I wouldn't say it's two thirds the performance. I think it's better balanced. I think the engine's a better suit to the chassis than it is in the CTSV. There's a lot about this car that makes a case for itself that you, know, you don't get from the CTSV. It's predictable and easy and giving, and it doesn't matter because most people won't use a, a tenth of this thing's capability on a public road. But what that does is it translates into nimble responses and dampers that are sharp but don't feel aggressive and flinty. It's an amount of comfort. It's a, it's a really nice package. And when you think about the fact that it gives you performance of a 10-year-old M5 or E63 for 60% of the cost of a new M5 or E63, only it's brand new and it's a Cadillac and it's nice inside and it feels well made and sounds good and talks to you and looks different. It doesn't look like everything else. How do you tell somebody not to buy this? Nobody buys them, but they should. They really should because this car is everything that we want a new BMW to be. We want, you know, a sports sedan that feels like this, but they don't make it. And then there's people that just don't think that they have to buy a German car to get something that handles and drives like this car does. And they don't, they have to buy an American car to get that. GM really managed to turn their, their whole performance car deal around in the last 10 years or so, right? Cadillacs are now everything you might want out of a car like this. Decent steering, nice compliant ride, sharp damping, good tires, good brakes. Brakes that don't go away on a racetrack. I mean, it's, which all that does is translate into a car that on a back road is gonna be underneath you and feel like it's underneath you and, and egg you on without, without making you go over your own personal limits. That's rare. That, that was rare 20 years ago and it's rare now. I've driven M5s that weren't this good. I've driven AMG. AMG C and E classes that didn't turn and dance on the brake like this. It's a, it's a special thing. And, you know, there's still some GM in it. It's parts of the interior are still really plasticky and the engine is still basically the same V6 they use in the Malibu and everything else, but. Infotainment system is uh, capacitive touch and not for me. But the good here is remarkably good. The good here is stuff to write home about. The CTS V-Sport's like a secret, right? It's like the secret sports sedan. There's not many people who are buying it. Not many people will know, but the people who know are getting one of the best sports sedans you can buy right now. And that's that's the great thing about this car, but it's also kind of a shame, because I would love to see these all over the place. Let me put it this way. If they built this thing and slapped a Porsche badge on it, they wouldn't be able to build enough of them. 